hi there pisces welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for anybody with pisces placements in their chart make sure you all flip and you switch the roles take what resonates leave what doesn't fit for the situation guys <clears throat> thank you so much for your love your support and your donations i'm sending a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box and please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um social media platforms okay so let's see, Pisces. Let's get some tea. Let's see what's going on with y'all, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. It's a lot happening. A lot is coming out. A lot is being exposed. Okay, this eclipse is getting ready to start eclipsing. And this damn retrograde is getting ready to start retrograde. So, let's see. Spirit so guys, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses. <coughs> Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent upon Pisces and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear concise and precise messages for my Pisces collective and protect me as I channel the messages for my Pisces. Okay. So let's see. Pisces. What's going on for Pisces? So we have hypocritical of everyone, but is the biggest hypocrite. Okay. Mm. It says secret rendezvous, shady locations, and sketchy person. Internet trolls, jealous of what you have and now and how you appear. Okay, so all right bottom of the deck is they care but they don't want you to know how much <clears throat> makes plans just to cancel them so okay std spreading their legs and spreading their sexually transmitted disease child all right so there's an internet troll here that's mad at you pisces child one is attacking me currently as we speak that shit is funny <laughs> like the shit is funny child i'm telling you but let's see what's going on Okay, so something has been exposed about a hoe. Okay, they got secret rendezvous or they, they're being shady or whatever this is. Okay. So let's just see. Let's get some tea and let's keep it moving. Okay, Pisces. Okay, somebody refuses. This is the kind of person that refuses to look at themselves in the mirror. They don't want to see that they have a problem. So they are trying to um, intimidate you, bully you, talk shit about you to make you feel like they're trying to project basically onto you currently or this could have happened already or this could be in the near future okay let's see what is um hypocritical of everyone but is the biggest hypocrite for my piscians okay so we have the ace of wands what's hypocritical of everyone but it's the biggest hypocrite wow the ten of cups and the hierophant Taurus, we got Pisces, Mars here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, so I'm getting a lot of emotional fulfillment coming up for you here, Pisces, or this could be the energy that you're in currently. Um, there could, could be a new creative endeavor or a new project here that's emotionally fulfilling. Um, you get a lot of joy out of doing whatever this is, but I feel like you feel whole and complete within yourself. Um, okay, confirmation. So somebody does feel good. Okay. Some of you guys, too, for some of you, there could be a, you guys could be getting married or there could be, excuse me, there could be um a baby that's coming here for some of you. Okay. Some of you guys could be spiritualists, spiritual gurus, your leaders. Um, Sometimes when I see this hierophant, I'm getting, this could be definitely like a high priest. This could be a man that's a high priest. This is somebody that you're fated to be with. This is a spiritual contract. Okay. That you're in. And it's very emotionally fulfilling. I feel like, um, okay, this person, they puts it down in the bedroom too, child. <laughs> okay, whoever this is. Okay. Period. I feel like they're very passionate about you. So let's just see. What's the um, Ace of Wands here? 
So somebody, I, I just feel like somebody is trying to project on your happiness. They're trying to project on your relationship. They're just trying to ruin some shit because they don't have nothing going for themselves. Yeah, ten of swords and the four of swords. Somebody here could be sick. Just period. A lot of these bitches are falling sick because of all the shit that they're doing. That black magic and shit. 515 on the timer is catching up to their clown ass. Okay, that's why hoes are upset. 520 on the clock, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay, that's my birthday. Okay, so yeah. It's just, it's giving desperate and nothing to lose type of energy. So what's the ace of wands? <laughs> We're not going to stay too long on this shit. We're not. Nobody, you know. Okay, the lovers in the reverse, Gemini energy. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I feel like you disconnecting from someone here or cutting the cords with somebody has really um re energized you or you feel this is like vitality here with the ace of wands somebody here could be unsure about their sexuality or something like that the lovers in the reverse is someone too that is there's there's like a disunion here or somebody that's not taking accountability for something okay But I feel like you disconnecting from somebody in particular has revitalized you in some sort of way. Okay, some of you guys are indecisive about a career path or a career opportunity. I just feel like you just need to get started on something, okay? Just get started on it and just see where it leads you. Okay, but let's see. What's the Ace of Wands with the lovers in the reverse? I feel like somebody is still attracted to someone that is not attracted to them. Okay, what's the Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands with the lovers in the reverse? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is right here. It could be dealing with a Virgo. Ten of Swords. Two of Cups. So this Knight of Pentacles is someone here that's very strategic, very methodical. Um, I feel like somebody's money too has slowed down because of a disconnect. Is what I'm getting. Like you, you energetically, um, getting rid of somebody has caused a disconnect somewhere. I mean, has fucked up somebody's money or slowed it down, or some of your shit was slowed down. You felt like your hard work wasn't going anywhere because of a connection. Whoever you're you're connected to or you were connected to was an issue. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Uh, okay, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. What's Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn here, Taurus, Virgo, could be all, you know, Earth signs involved. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, <clears throat> Cancer. Ten of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Devil, <laughs> the Emperor, the Star, the Four of Wands, the High Priestess. Child, if you don't get the fuck away it like just go away bitch while while you're ahead <laughs> okay just move the fuck on just move on move on baby girl <laughs> baby boy move on okay just move the fuck on child so i feel like there is something when it comes down to your emotions and your this could be like your creative pursuits or because the queen of cups is somebody that's artistic they're psychic they're very creative i feel like you could be a healer you could also be a white witch here very emotionally balanced i feel like you're very kind you're very handsome or you're very pretty okay and you're very resourceful you're welcoming you're nurturing so i feel like you're very much so a hard worker okay with the knight of pentacles Somebody's just trying to slow you down because of some sort of disconnection here. This disconnect between you and somebody. I feel like, too, something where somebody is trying to cause discord or disharmony between you and somebody, it's just going to make this person want you even more. Because they're going to look at you like, damn, 
my girl or my man is like they they gotta be something big you feel me it's like for a bitch to just be making up shit and doing a little stupid ass shit you feel what i'm saying like something is really going to backfire it's not going to go how they want it to go yeah ace of pentacles i feel like it's going to bring you more success more money more gifts more donations because you're a fucking truth speaker you speak the truth like i, I don't you guys have be seeing 666 like I, I don't understand what somebody got going on but it just seemed real dumb to me. What's this Ten of Cups? Okay, Three of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you're in this contract here. With the Three of Pentacles, I feel like you learned from your past mistakes and now you're whole, you're complete within yourself. You're also, um, you could be like networking or um, socializing, you know, meeting different people. That's going to lead to some sort of emotional fulfillment when it comes down to your work. I feel like... somebody here just wants to be you too it's just it's weird very weird very weird i feel like with the three of pentacles this talks about teamwork collaboration it's like somebody here is going to put in the effort the time this is you and this person here working together to build something and it's going to lead to the ten of cups i feel like you're really emotionally balanced too somebody's just trying to knock you off your square here pisces what's the higher fin child <clears throat> the five of pentacles yeah somebody feels left out in the cold towards mercury some of you guys could need to go talk to a financial advisor or because you could have a business you could be a really good business woman or man but i mean sure the more money you make the more you're gonna have to like get more organized okay yeah, the Tower, the King of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, and the Two of Cups. If somebody's trying to sabotage a relationship by going towards your masculine, this bitch or these people... <clears throat> yeah, my throat chakra going out. <clears throat> these people don't know who the fuck this masculine is. <clears throat> like, this person is not a, a regular being. 12-12 on a timer. You're trying to go up against somebody here that's a twin flame of somebody else's or a fucking um higher level soulmate with all this fucking protection bitch you're just going to end up getting a tower that's just what this is somebody is on some devil shit somebody's trying to cause chaos conflict between you and somebody your spirit god is here or this damn person embodies archangel <laughs> michael they and they embody something strong <laughs> okay this shit gonna hit their ass so hard <laughs> Or it's already hitting their ass. And they're just trying to find anything to do now to ruin some shit. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like, bitch, you're not going to five of cups. You're not going to get what the fuck you want. What's this? What's this uh, higher friend with the five of pentacles? Because I already see what the fuck this shit is, Pisces. If I'm going through some shit, I'm a part of the collective. Y'all going through it too. We in this shit together. <laughs> okay? Like, that's just what this is. <clears throat> Amongst many other things that could be coming out that I'm going to point out as well. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> My throat chakra fucking up. Somebody here could be going to jail. Or they're going to spiritual jail. <clears throat> Somebody could be married, but they feel restricted in a connection. What's this Eight of Swords? <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, the King of Swords. Somebody here is going to jail. <laughs> like, they're going to jail here. Toodle little bitch. <laughs> Enjoy your, your prison time, ho. Somebody could be spending three to five years in jail. Okay, and at this point, shit, that's probably not even enough, but you know. Spirit, I'm going to let spirit do what spirit going to do, period. But I'm just saying, the king of swords, somebody could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody here could be scared that someone else is going to cut them off. This king of swords could be setting boundaries with someone, okay, or whatever the fuck. This could be a lot of shit. What's the five of pentacles? <laughs> <clears throat> the 
the two of swords. Excuse me, all my throat and shit is itching. Libra Moon. So I feel like somebody has made a decision. This could be some sort of like cult or something here too. This is a cult or group of bitches that's working together or teaming up to try to ruin something for somebody else. That's it. Um, the Two of Swords is like not really knowing what to do, trying to make a tough or a hard decision. This could be anxiety, fear. I feel like somebody's in fear. Somebody's having to make a, a, a decision or make some sort of like sacrifice. Or somebody could be in denial that somebody's setting boundaries with them and cutting their ass off. Okay, I feel like this is court too. Something going on in court or this is a spiritual court. Okay. Um, th let me see. Who this King of Swords? Give me more on this King of Swords right here. This King of Swords could be stuck in something. They're having to make a decision or make a choice. I feel like they're having to make a head over heart decision. Because maybe it's time for somebody to have integrity and respect. Okay, Queen of Swords, yeah. The Seven of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Five of Cups. <laughs> this King of Swords could be like a... Let me see. Who this King of Swords right here? The King of Pentacles, period. This your person? The High Priestess, the Four of Wands, the Star, the Devil, the Emperor, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands... Who this King of Swords, King of Pentacles? Who this? I want to see who the fuck this is. Yeah, the Page of Wands. <clears throat> so this could be a married couple. This could be somebody that's married. They could have a child together. I feel like for some of you, okay, I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. This could be you and your person as a power couple. You and your person are very wealthy. Y'all are supposed to be together. That's just your counterpart. That's just what it is. You and this person can have some sort of new exciting plans coming or there's something that is, I don't know, it's starting up between y'all two. Y'all could be working on a project together or doing something together. Um, I feel like you and this person are very loyal and committed to one another. And then... Um, there's this group of people just trying to ruin it. Whoever these people are, who gives a fuck about who they are? I'm just telling you what the vibes are. <laughs> like, nobody gives a fuck about these hoes. They trying to make themselves relevant. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay. Um. Child. <laughs> I don't even know what else I'm picking up off of it. It just looks like some bullshit right here, to be honest. And, and it looks like people around you could be getting ready to like get some karma. They ass getting ready to go to jail. So that way you and your person can go on and make y'all plans. Yeah, the, 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 the sun, the strength, and the damn fool. It's like, bitch, it's time for you bitches to go. Y'all not doing nothing but getting on everybody's fucking nerves. I feel like you're getting on God's nerves too. They ready to annihilate y'all asses. Okay, because we, we tired of y'all hoes. That's it. King of Cups, Two of Cups, Five of Wands, Ten of Swords. Like, somebody is mad because they got all this fucking chaos going on in their life from all this fucking hexing, cursing, black magic, all this stupid ass shit that somebody got going. Okay. Or the betrayals or the somebody is trying to gossip and just, like, start a whole bunch of shit. It's like nobody, nobody is moved by this shit. People are leveling up. People are now in connections. That means something. People have really... You've re really reached a level of wholeness and completion, bitch. There's nothing that you're going to do. We're just going to keep clowning you. And that's it. Like, you're a clown. So we're just going to keep clowning you and still not paying you no mind. It's just like, bitch, somebody here wants you to, like, get out of character. They want you to fight, argue, bicker, and, and just lose your mind to the point where you're having to fight and get out of your body for a bitch that don't got shit going on. Like, really think about it. Because anybody that got something going on is not going to be sitting up here trying to bully, fight, argue, or pick with you or do any of that. Okay, so I feel like if you're mature, you just know how to move. Just clown these hoes, laugh, and go. Like, that's it. That's all you need to do. It's just, bitch. 
motherfuckers just trying to trick you out your spot. That's all. And if you're smart, you'll know how to move. What's this two of swords? Okay, you have the seven of wands. So that's like protecting your territory. Somebody here trying to challenge you or whatever the fuck this is. Something here is blocked and at a stalemate. Something here cannot be touched. I feel like something is protected by Archangel Michael. The sword of truth. So it's just like, yeah, something is going to continue to progress and move forward. And somebody is going to still continue to be heartbroken, upset, or get hiring these hoes to bully you or whatever the fuck you bitches are doing. Whether it's fake pages or your real page, bitch. It don't even matter. Everybody looks stupid as fuck. And everybody looks dumb. And that's how you're going to remain dumb and stupid as fuck. For sure. <laughs> Ain't nobody losing their shit because of you, bitch. You're going to have to do more than that, hoe. You're going to have to do more than that. To try to move somebody out the way. What's a secret rendezvous? Because anybody can just talk, talk, talk. Nobody got time to be doing all that. Nobody got time to do all that. And nobody's going to pick a fight with you either. Like, if you really want somebody that bad, then you go do something about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All this talking is irrelevant. You want to reply is irrelevant. You can talk to yourself. And, and we just going to fucking do what we do. What's a secret rendezvous? The fool. Aquarius, what's secret rendezvous with the fool? The moon in the reverse. It's like bitches, child, a bitch trying to flip the narrative and shit. Like flip it, talking about her twin flame and all that and how I try. Like what? That shit don't even make no sense. Like motherfuckers be trying to like frame they're trying to like frame me here, Pisces. Okay, say so probably same with you. It's coming out. Probably the same with you, child. It's just like, bitch, you just you just like to cause a whole bunch of confusion, bitch. You don't have a twin flame. You're dealing with a whole bunch of comic ass niggas, okay, that don't want your ass because you're sitting up here doing all this black magic and you're trying to put it off on somebody else. No, bitch, it's you. You raggedy. <laughs> you're raggedy. You're blocked. You're raggedy. You're being blocked by a whole bunch of other motherfuckers <laughs> that realize that you're raggedy too. So, take your L and go. So, the moon in the reverse, Cancer Pisces. So, yeah, a secret has been revealed here. Something has been revealed. And I feel like um, with the fool, somebody here is breaking free of something. This is complete freedom, okay? This is you going on a new damn path, starting over, leaving everything behind, and just moving forward, okay? You're taking whatever it is that you need, whatever spirit is telling you to take with you, and you're going, just period, What's the moon in the reverse? I don't understand. Like, what, what, what's the moon in the reverse? Nine of swords reverse. Yeah, so now somebody somebody is, like, in deep regret or they, this is, like, deep remorse or somebody's being haunted. Okay. This could also be, too, you realizing that there could be a light at the end of the tunnel here. Um... Now that all this shit has been revealed, or this is somebody else's ass. What's this moon in reverse, nine of swords? The eight of wands. Somebody could be trying to like look for somebody or some shit. Something going on here with communication. Something is hitting somebody's ass. Like something about somebody's mental health too is just all off track. Like it's just really somebody's like losing their mind. And I feel like there's evidence about like something about somebody is just they look like the shit that they're doing to other people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they look like they're going through whatever they're sending out to other people. You know what I'm saying? It's not hitting nobody else but them. Not you, not your mama, not your daddy, not your kids, not your home, not your money, not your mind. Nothing is is hitting you. Instead, they're, they're spazzing and they're doing the actual most.
somebody is trying to travel to or get away but i feel like something is following their ass they can't they can't just get away like that what the fuck what's the fool somebody here is just yeah the will of fortune yeah so things are moving in your favor like they always will pisces nothing new okay so you got good fortune good luck good karma coming in there's a lot of growth and expansion some of you guys could be moving okay here some of y'all could be moving or traveling but i feel like you're stepping into your purpose as well you could also be at a distance from someone i feel like that's getting ready to balance out if you're at a distance from someone in particular this could be physical distance doesn't have to be um but i feel like this is a level up for you once again because you're growing you're learning something from something is being cleared out from the past i feel like from a past life that's helping you to grow and expand in this lifetime whatever this is you're headed towards your purpose so that's why all this shit is happening that's why bitches are losing their mind they trying to get you to lose yours too honey <clears throat> so that way you won't step into your purpose that's the truth ace of swords it's just like honey please what's this uh so, okay, what's an uh, internet troll jealous of what you have and how you appear? So something is being revealed about an internet troll and their, their sketchiness or whatever the fuck they got going on, child, a star. Yeah, so somebody sees that you're on the come up here because they're definitely not in the star energy, not with this behavior. This is a karmic ass bitch and that's how they're going to stay, it looks like. 616 on the timer. You can have Aquarius in your chart. So this is you. You could be an inspiration or very motivational to other people. Um, you could be a healer, an astrologer. You could be very, very spiritual very creative very artistic very innovative inventive okay um you're healing and you're healing to other people so and on the flip side of this it says real life trolls that are jealous of your life and lifestyle this is says internet trolls so bitches that like to try to intimidate you through the internet and expect you to go back and forth with their ass to try to pick what what do you like try to pick a fight like no <laughs> nobody is going to fucking you're not going to energy harvest off of this person get over it. you're not going to energy harvest off of me this person whoever else that this resonates with bitch okay the devil the ten of wands and the page of pentacles yeah so somebody is burdened they stressed out. i feel like somebody could be doing like root work they're doing hoodoo or something like that voodoo this could be earth magic somebody is fucking with I'm hearing graveyard dirt. They're doing all kind of shit. Okay. Somebody could be sick. Ten of wands with the devil. Or they ass is possessed by something dark. And that's just, I mean, of course. So anyways, what's the internet trolls here with the star? Somebody needs attention as always, child. What's the internet trolls with the star? The ten of wands. So, so yeah, something... Somebody here is burdened. They stressed. I feel like you're you're um, releasing something here with the Ten of Wands. Okay. You're releasing something here with the Star and the Ten of Wands. I feel like somebody needs some sort of energy supply. <laughs> like they need some sort of energy from you. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Two of Wands, child, please. <laughs> like, the Magician and the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. What's the star, Spirit? I, I, don't, I don't know. What's the star? What's the star, child? The Temperance, period. A damn Earth Angel. Somebody that's protected and will always be protected. You can have a Sagittarius in your chart, Pisces. Okay, so this is divine intervention, protection. I feel like, you know, just stay optimistic, stay positive. Keep going. That's the only thing you need to do. Keep inspiring others to move. How you moving? Okay. Okay, looks like you're doing pretty well to me, child. So what's the star with the temperance? Let me see. So yeah, the hermit, just period. <laughs> Somebody here that's very intelligent. Very, very smart. Very spiritually in tune. You could, yeah, confirmation, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart. <coughs> or you're being protected from someone that's stalking, spying. What's the hermit? This is this is um some sh sort of shadow work that's being done too, though. Or, I don't know, you could be needing to keep things off the internet here to protect yourself. Okay, because somebody's just continuously watching this shit. It's just like they're always watching. 
And if they trying to attack this damn masculine, honey, this masculine does not give a fuck. Like, when I say this masculine is emotionally balanced like you, this masculine is a real man. This is not no little ass boy. They're not. But the king of cups here to the queen right there. This is not no little ass boy, bitch. I feel like somebody mad because they married to somebody and they getting their ass handed to them. Like, they're married and they shit is fucked up. What's the hermit? So they trying to ruin everybody else's shit. They're trying to, like, okay, yeah, the emperor. What's the hermit with the emperor? Could be doing with an Aries or, okay, and the high priest is shy. Yeah, that's your masculine or that's you. One or the other. Okay, very much so inspirational, very high ranking. Okay, you could be a high priestess. I feel like you're 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 a boss in whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, you're a leader. You're very structured. You're very disciplined. You're very focused. Okay, you're leveling up in whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, this is this emperor. That is understanding the fact that he's a damn divine masculine. Some of y'all could be doing some sort of protection work around you and this person and just whatever else you're trying to build. Okay. And it's working, you know, and I feel like you're protected anyway. So it really ain't shit to worry about. <laughs> it, it really ain't like at all. Actually, what's the 10 of wands? Okay, yeah, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> That's what you bitches show up as. 31, 31 on the timer. Three of Cups, the Empress, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Swords. What's this Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords? I feel like whatever this is, this curse or this hex and shit, it's, it's gone back on that ass. <laughs> it's hitting that ass hard, okay? Somebody is definitely going to jail. They're going to spiritual jail. Or whatever the fuck. What's the center or, or real jail? I don't know. Sound like they need to be in both. While they in jail, they need to also be in spiritual jail too. <laughs> like it both needs to happen. What's the what's the um ten of wands with the ten of swords? Somebody's just so desperate. It's it's just pathetic. Okay. Yeah. The ace of cups in the reverse. Okay. So Let me see. Give me give me another card spirit. Who this Queen of Pentacles right here? The devil. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, yeah, I was I kept looking at them with this damn King of Pentacles. Or this is somebody that's just obsessed with you. What's the what's the devil with the Queen of Pentacles? Capricorn. This could be in the, this could be a Capricorn. Okay, yeah, and the four swords. This is somebody that gotta do black magic to keep whoever they with, child. They got they gotta they gotta act like they're something that they're not to keep whoever the fuck this is. Okay, this could be a very um this is just a, a, a transactional connection, a transactional relationship. I feel like somebody is really asleep, they're unawakened with the four swords and the devil. Somebody here could be having really bad dreams or nightmares. I'm hearing something about spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, I'm hearing Ratatouille. Definitely this bitch is a rat. Okay. Now I'm saying Stuart Little. <laughs> that used to be my favorite show. My favorite movie. Somebody's name could be Andrew. Somebody's phone number could start with 413. Your area code. I'm hearing something about Nashville, California. Somebody's name could be Tara. Someone could have a Libra Jupiter here. Somebody's name could be Desmond. Or somebody could go by Desi. Somebody could have an infection in their stomach or this could be like parasites I'm hearing or like a, some sort of viral infection. Somebody could be sick or something like that. Someone's name could be Vicky. I'm hearing Vivica too. Ashton. Somebody could stay in Austin, Texas. Okay, spirit was... <laughs> With the channeling, once it seems like once I start channeling, they don't go away. Um, it 
There's a lot of fear and stress, child. This Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups in the reverse is a breakup. This is a breakup. This is like unrequited love. Okay, a canceled event. A lot of sadness, doom and gloom here. What's this Ace of Cups, child, in the reverse? Excuse me. Okay, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, somebody revoked their offer from someone. The Ace of Cups in the reverse, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody revoked their offer. That's all that this is. Somebody's mad about an offer being revoked or... And for some of you, this bitch is already married. Somebody's already married. They already got somebody, but they're they're running around. They're cheating. They're lying. I feel like somebody is just... But I feel like they're doing black magic to whoever they're with to keep things going with their finances. That's the only thing that I'm saying. But I feel like somebody has gotten the truth about their clown ass or they're being left and they feel like it's your fault. Bitch, and it probably is your fault. And who gives a fuck? You bitches like you need to be exposed. You raggedy as fuck, bitch. Okay, that's what's happening. So let's move on. Let's see. Let's get a... Um, Gateway of Light Activation card. Let's see where you're at in your journey, Pisces. Okay. Okay, let me see something. Let me pull from here really quickly. Rejected. Your protection is your... Your rejection is your protection. This period. Somebody, this could just be simply somebody sick too because this this shit this shit that they're doing is just backfiring like bad <laughs> it's really backfiring on backfiring on them but i feel like they're so lost they're so dumb they're so confused that they just don't even see that this is hitting their ass it's not bothering you i feel like they do see it though like bitch you're not that slow you're slow but not that fucking slow it's like everything that you're doing is hitting you nothing is yeah, strange. I feel like you don't even know this hoe. An individual you have not yet met. I mean, have not met yet. Unfamiliar. It's just like, what else? Okay, the matrix and the reverse. Hologram reality. Light frequency. Simply coding. Manipulation. Freedom from control. Yeah, so the matrix is in the reverse. So somebody's out of the matrix here. Spiritual thief. Yeah, somebody's out of the matrix. They're not in a 3D. It's like somebody really don't know somebody for real. They trying to come to this man about some shit because they definitely tried it. Uh, my man going to tell me, oh, something is a bitch uh, mention him or say something. I'm like, okay, what is it? Because I don't see the mention. <laughs> Got to be somebody that's blocked. What the fuck? It's like bitches just watch your page. They spy just to see who you're dating, who you're talking to. So that way they can try to ruin some shit. Bitch, ain't nobody thinking about you. He's not. We're not. Okay. So we got Silver Spoon. Entitled, spoiled, expecting everything to be given, expecting everything to be given without earning it. It was stranger. It's like, bitch, you don't even know who the fuck you fucking with. Somebody thinks some shit is a game. <laughs> Daydream, let your imagination guide you to new horizons. Mental health. Yeah, somebody with a fucked up mental health issue. Okay, professional counsel needed. Mental illness, all brains are different. Yeah, and this one is slow as fuck. This one is fucking just all screwed up. <laughs> all brains are different. It's clear. What else? Twas all a dream. It was all a dream. So it says it starts off as a dream. Will you actualize it or just fantasize? It's a lot about dreaming and the dream state. Yeah, we got friend zone, strictly platonic, highly unlikely to change. Yeah, because it's something that you're doing for work. A superstar. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's something that you're doing for work. You're exposing somebody. And now they ask, getting, it's getting friend zone. So now they're mad at you. Of course, it's you. It's always you. Oh, <laughs> oh boo fucking who. Ignorance is bliss. It sure is. Yeah, sometimes being the fool gives us an unknowing upper hand or simply less stress. Yeah, like, I, I just feel like, what's ignorance is bliss? <laughs> okay moon so it says attention to the to moon sign placement so the moon i mean just pay attention to your moon sign placement but the moon could be so obviously deception something being hidden okay or somebody here knowing some shit what's the ignorance is bliss with the moon or somebody okay peekaboo <laughs> it's a absence permanence out of mind out of sight yeah I feel 
like somebody has ran off. Somebody has disappeared. Somebody's trying to find somebody with peekaboo. It's like somebody's playing hide and seek with somebody. Somebody's trying to find someone else. They they're left. They left. Somebody here just up and left. Cause somebody here acted like they didn't know something, but then boom, they all of a sudden flipped the script. Okay, somebody got information from somewhere, probably from you as a reader or you, whoever the fuck you are, you exposed some shit. And this this gave somebody all the answers that they needed. Okay, what's friend zoned? Duh. Of course I was waiting for your call. Yeah, what's friend zoned here with duh? <laughs> okay, it says psychometry okay spiritual gift ability to receive visions based on touching objects so this could be a gift that somebody has that's being used to find some shit out about this situation or this is somebody this is a gift that somebody has used to find somebody they're trying to use this gift to find somebody this person here is touching some things of this other person to see where they at or to locate them or something child What's the psych psychometry? Leave it all behind. Yeah, somebody gone, bro. Somebody left. Walking away from everything. Somebody is gone, child. Because, yeah, because somebody's abusive. They're a loser. Like, they're a fucking clown. Neither cup sitting around. Somebody's a cheater. They're a one-night stand kind of bitch, okay? Somebody's just a fucking clown. Or somebody just slept with someone else. You know, this kind of like gives me a bitch here that's just so obsessed with you. They want everybody that you have and they marry. They're already married, but they want, they're just so jealous and envious of you that they just want to fuck on anybody that will fuck on anybody that you've dealt with in your past here, Pisces. They want to fuck on that person. They want to be a part of that person's life because anything to get close to you, they're obsessed. This is like some weird, weird shit. They just want anything that you got. And I feel like somebody here just fucked on them and they left. They got friend zoned or whatever their magic is to try to keep these men or to keep these women or whatever this is. It's not working. It's not working. What's, what's, uh, what, what else? Spirit? North star in the reverse. You are someone's North star. They would hang the stars in the sky for you. Yeah. Somebody don't give a fuck about this hoe. Not at all. They know that they're not a twin. They know that they're not a North star or nothing. There is no such thing as a twin flame practicing black magic. <laughs> There's no such thing, bitch. Not one. Okay, yeah, we got PTSD. Still recovering from a very traumatic event or experience. Okay. Safe to breathe. The hard part is over. Take a moment to recover. And then we have gradual. Yeah, spiritual warfare, child. It's a slow process, but the reward will be worth it. Stalker. Somebody is just a loser. They're just a loser. So anyways, let's see. Let's get a card here. Give me a card spirit for Pisces. That's in alignment with the spread. these whole spirit please Jesus. <laughs> please help please help these hoes so we have stellar gateway excuse me activation it says infinite potential and manifestation vortex soul star activation fulfilling contracts and remembering who you are period period your soul star is what over top of your head it's above the crown chakra. Somebody has ascended high. <laughs> okay. High, high, high. Okay, it says the stellar gateway is the highest of our chakras and is found about 12 to 24 feet, three to six meters above our head. It is the energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. It governs our connection to the spiritual laws of creation and the quantum field and holds our life's potential as it holds all the intentions that we set before this incarnation and all the intentions we've set during it that support the ever unfolding path of our earthly experience. Energetically, this portal is beyond time and space and we and when we connect with it, we come into alignment with all the aspects of our soul's journey, including when we part when we were a part of the cosmos. 
This card transports us to a stargate that has a giant pyramid within it. Above the stargate, there are three dimensional images of Thoth, the former priest king of Atlantis, who is one of the ancient masters holding the secrets of the universe. This image is a reminder of our potential and of our ancient and starry connections. The pyramid is a symbol of rising power and of how our soul has existed through lifetimes. The stargate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a reminder that all things are possible and that with the right alignment, we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven upon earth, period. And that's exactly how your life is turning out. Life is great. Okay. So it says to connect. It says, breathe deeply. Imagine that your breath is taking you up and out to connect with the, inf the infinite potential held within the stars. Affirm, I connect with heaven and earth to create heaven on earth. So it says, you are a master of manifestation. Every one of your thoughts, actions, non-actions, and choices is affecting the unfolding of your path. Realize that you have great potential and power within you, and through your focused awareness, you can draw on heavenly support to create the life of your wildest dreams. Know that all the energies you connect with are carried up to your stellar gateway, and if they are aligned with the intentions your soul had before this incarnation, opportunities will come your way. It is important to consider connecting with your cosmic origins at this time and also tracking down the intentions of your soul. For if you can bring your wishes in this life together with your pre-life intentions, you can live a life that is aligned with the highest heavens. Exactly. So whatever you're doing right now is aligning great for where you're trying to go. So that means you need to stay on track. <laughs> don't don't lose focus. That, that's what I'm saying. It's people that know this. This bitch knows that. So just keep moving. That's it. And I feel like you got somebody that's on your team too. Whoever this man is or whoever your person is or your whoever your friend is, whatever. Okay. You are. You're being supported 100 percent. 100 percent. That's how you're going to know when something is for you. Okay, because you're you going to know. So we have 4444, blessing in disguise, obstacles, hardships, strength, building character and experience. So it says there might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor if you've been suffering or feeling lost. Some things may fall apart, but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. Okay, let's see what else. Zero, 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 limitless potential. Reset, relaxation, unknown, surrender, finish line, success, and victory. It serves as a timely reminder that if anything that anything can be accomplished, if you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension and relax. Okay. It says it's time to hit the reset. So something about reset again. It's time to hit the reset button. Clear out the old so that the room is so that room is available for the new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome this beautiful brand new energy. You've got this. Okay. 101. It says starting over. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Yeah, something is just clearing out here. It's a lot of shit that's clearing out. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failure is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand its process in the pursuit of joy. I mean, in the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. One, two, three, four. It says good luck. Spirit guides, progress, justice, structures, systems, processes, conditioning, and rules. You are on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. Okay, so you're succeeding. <laughs> That's all that I'm getting from that Pisces. That's it. Okay, whatever the obstacles are, you're working through them. You're fine. You're fine.
So this is your reading. I hope that it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Pisces.